believe in your dream. Never let anybody take your dream away from you. And stay focused. Keep your eye on the prize. You can do it. My name is Saki Mafundikwa. I am the founder and director of Ziva, the Zimbabwe Institute of Visual Arts, graphic designer by training, filmmaker, author, and a farmer. I founded um, a graphic design and new media college and the goal is to impart those skills to talented young Zimbabweans. Well, there was nothing like it in Zimbabwe. And so I saw a void there and a need to fill. So that's why I decided to start the college. In the 90s, uh, on trips back home from my base in New York City, um, I saw that much of the design that was being done at home was pretty much a copy of what was happening in Europe and in the US and, and other uh, places. So I really felt that there was a need for a college, a homegrown college, where students could be taught how to look within themselves and find inspiration from their environment, from their heritage, from home, and create this new form of design that was particularly and uniquely Zimbabwean. It was very difficult because um, I did this without any funding and uh, we opened in 1999 and this is 2018. We still are not funded. We still haven't raised a cent in funding and that was due to the political situation uh, at home. A lot of hard work a lot of sacrifice, um, yeah, hard work, you know, because um, this is a school, you, you, you are creating a school without any funding, you know, schools mean money, take, take money to run and to run them efficiently. And so we had to charge fees that were that could allow us and enable us to run the school and pay teachers. So that's, it's just been like that. 18 years of, well, it's nine, now our 19th year, you know, almost 20 years of uh, sacrifice and hard work. Oh well. The biggest accomplishment is uh, all the students who have graduated out of Ziva and gone on to better and bigger and better things. Uh, the man behind the camera, my son Simba, went through our program in design and um, from there he went to architecture school in the US is now done, finished, completed his studies last year, and is now working for an architecture firm in Seattle. I'm very proud of that. And there are other success stories as well. I have a student who went from Ziva to Yale and graduated from their master's program in graphic design. She's now a professor in uh, Virginia in the US. I have students who have gone on to run their own studios, design studios, in Australia, South Africa, and other locations around the world. I am very proud of that. Uh, 
I never make mistakes. Just kidding. Um, I don't know, I wouldn't say exactly mistakes. Maybe it was just a question of timing. When I decided to open the school, uh, Zimbabwe wasn't a really attractive uh, investment uh, destination. So, yeah, the frustration of trying to raise funds to run this school, I would say that's, that's the biggest frustration. It's not really a mistake. I don't think we've made that many mistakes. Oh, well, that an African came from uh, an education in the U.S and worked in the most competitive market, which is New York City, and then moved back and started a school that is still running today. That in itself, a lot of people wonder, like, they look at me like, how? How did you do it? Well, as you can see, we Africans can do it too. Dream and dream big and never let anyone steer you away from your path. You know your vision. Stay focused on it and make it happen.